Thank you for joining us in this, the latest iteration of the sliding frictionless bearing. As you can see here on the left hand side we have a standard Tom Hertz Timpit bearing and on the right we have the latest iteration of the sliding frictionless taper roller bearing. For display purposes we've surmounted this in a proprietary high vids HPHT. Now, bearings were invented some 500 years ago by the great Leonardo da Vinci and we continue to stand on the shoulders of giants. I'm referring of course to the previous work done by our incomparable colleague Carol Karapkariopi at the Technics Universität Ich muss Scheiße machen of the beautiful German canton Der Torlaten. Now all outward appearances aside, these bearings are completely different. If a picture is worth a thousand words, a movie is worth a million. You can plainly see the friction advantage that we have in our new application of sliding frictionless bearing technology. And that important distinction will become crystal clear in our next demonstration. We are going to manually actuate each one of these bearings and show you the difference. Now just in the brief time that we've manually actuated these bearings, let's have a look at the temperature gradients on the right hand side. Ambient temperature on the right hand side. Incredible difference. The ambient temperature is roughly 19 degrees centigrade and yet the conventional bearing is over 35 degrees. I'm sure I don't need to explain to you that heat means friction. Now we come to the crux of it. I'm going to share with you how we here manage to reduce the sliding friction of the rolling elements. We're going to do that by applying this extremely high grade, high tack aerospace purple grease. Now let's have a look at both of these bearings. Here's the standard one. Here's our modified bearing. They're exactly the same. You can't test a bearing that's not under load. It doesn't work. Just by spinning it just means I took the, it's either worn out, worn right out, or I took the grease out. And machining grooves, getting rid of the cage, destroying the race, is doing absolutely nothing. Because you don't run a bearing under zero load. What's the point of having a bearing if there's no load? So I urge you, the next time you see something that's too good to be true, ask yourself, why? Thanks a lot for watching. Keep your stick on the ice. Enjoy those Tom Hurton's Tim Pits.